Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. To my YouTube channel. All right, let's see what we got for you today. <laughs> I like saying that now. Now that I know you guys like it, I like to say it even more. <laughs> we have for you a night, by the way, it's a 143 scale, 1970, Alfa Romeo, Ju Julia, 1600, Super. Now, this is, this is a classic. For Alfa Romeo, it's a classic. This is actually the very first Julia's it came out. Uh, by the way, the Julia uh, name for Alfa Romeo, it's been out since this car came out, which it was back in 1962. Now this model right here, it ran all the way down to 1978. Figure that out. That's quite a long journey. Quite a long journey. And I really liked them. I really liked them. They were very popular in, in Italy. I'm not sure in the rest of Europe. They were sold around the world too. I remember in South America, they were sold there. And they were quite popular again they had this model also in a station wagon which i also have it will be up in a few videos up in a new video in a future video let me oh goodness what's going on with me today let me speak properly in a future video <laughs> but this is the sedan and i also have the station wagon Real, real attractive. I like this. I like the back. I gotta admit it. It's weird because it has like a. It, it looks like it has a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler because the back is flat. It's like straight back. It's like a flat back. It's no rounded part. It's it's like a box. The the back part is like a box. <laughs> but it's cute. It's cute. It's really it's really practical. It was a very practical car back in the days. And since they sold it for so many years, when a car is sold for so many years, it's because they're popular, they're reliable, they're worth having in the market for such a long time. And I guess this was one for Alfa Romeo, you know. These were the golden, golden eras of Alfa Romeo. I always say the classic Alphas were the ones that made the name, t name brand what it is today. A lot of people are scared to buy Alfa Romeos nowadays because it doesn't hold up to what they used what they used to be. You know, back in the days, Alfa Romeos were, like I said, they were known to be good cars. Now, people like them, but they not fully like them because they know what is their reliability, how good will they last, and you know, Alfa Romeo is like a luxury brand. So it kind of runs on part with like BMW, Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, uh, you know. So these are the these are the markets that they kind of want to compete with. But at the same time, if you don't bring cars are are on par with those other brands, it's hard for you to compete with them. It, this, by the way, this diecast it looks just like the ones in real life. This big Italian license plate, typical classic license plate back from the 60s and 70s. And the little one in the front. The big one in the back, the little one in the front. <laughs> this one comes with a quad headlights. I know there's another one that comes with a single headlights in, in each side. I'm not sure which is the difference. Like, I'm not sure if it's size of the engine. I would have to do more investigation on that. I like this rounded rear pillar like you know the pillars here is not all the way on the edge of the side of the car the wipers I, I i never liked those wipers that open from inwards outdoors outwards inwards to outwards i never like those i like the ones that go together at the same pace but not against each other i don't i never like that if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, mm -hmm. uh, just repeat the video and you will understand it. You know those wipers that go together and they go like, you know, two of them at the same rhythm. 
these these are the ones that go opposite way, both of them. I always felt they were gonna touch each other when they go opposites, and then when they meet back in, they were gonna hit each other. So it doesn't look kind of proper to me. All right, guys. So let me stop talking this nonsense and let you guys enjoy this uh, car go around a few times, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, what you guys, how you guys like this car? Do you remember them? I I do. I always love them. I don't know. I found a very attractive little mid-sized car for the European standards. It's it was like a mid-sized car. For American standards, it's truly like a small car. <laughs> but I find them attractive. I I liked it. I I you know it's it's. They always, all these cars, even though they're smaller and they're not, for some viewers, it may not be an attractive, it has an attractiveness. The back part, I find it very attractive. I don't know, something about, it goes all the way to the end and then it's flat, it flat ends. You know what I mean? It's not like a round edge ending. But I like it. I like it. Have you ever drawn one of these? Do you still see them like in car shows? Hopefully in car shows. Hopefully they're taking care of them. Do you still see them around? And especially in Europe, do you still see them around? I'm sure probably in Italy they probably still have a lot of them. At least in car shows. Because they were very popular in, in Italy. They used to use them also as police cars. I saw pictures of it. So, you know, when they use them as police cars, it's, it's truly a mass production car. All right, guys, don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up. That real nice thumbs up. I really like. Thank you so much for giving, um, showing support. You know, when you give me the nice thumbs up, I always know that you're liking the video and I really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to click and subscribe. And comment below. Like I said before, let me know what your thoughts are. All right, guys, so take care of yourselves. More than ever, as I usually say, and take cases and goodbye.